Greetings, it's Laurel Elaine here, and I'm back in the U.S. today. And you know, that's actually been wonderful. I'm here in my dad's garden in rural Avoca, New York, in the middle of nowhere. And I'm just so excited to be eating right from the garden. This is how I got my nickname, Rabbit. We have just huge lettuce here. My dad has this like perennial lettuce patch. It keeps growing every year. It reseeds itself and he doesn't even have to plant it anymore. It just keeps coming back. It's so cool. And same with dill. This is dill. It's so wonderful. Um, once you get a dill patch established, it just keeps growing. Oh man, that is pungent. It is good. And then I've been sharing with him this other, um, I guess it's a weed, but really it's wonderful. It's called Lamb's Quarter. And um, it's uh, it's like spinach. It has a lot of the similar nutrition as spinach. Actually, even maybe more nutrition uh, than, than spinach. And it's wild, so it's got that, um, it's just got something different about it. Like, it's, it's real. It's so good. So, I just wanted to share with you um, how empowering it is to grow your own garden and eat out of it. It's like the most beautiful thing on the earth. So, I miss Thailand dearly. I was there over four months. Yeah, it was great. I, the fruit was wonderful. Um, yeah, I didn't have just, you know, my own garden always when you're traveling. So, to come home for me and to be with my dad and family and then get to share in his bounty and the goodness that he does in his wonderful garden it's just been a treat he's got cauliflower there and um all his tomato plants he cuts all his own wood to heat for the winter and uh, there's his house got a great big willow tree uh, and he has his peppers here, uh, the start of some cucumbers that can grow up this, up this trellis. And then we've been planting broccoli and eating broccoli already. Um, he's got carrots started, beans started, peas going. He's got a wonderful apple tree, two apple trees that were just here. He's got the... Um, beans fenced off so that the rabbits don't eat them and then those lovely pea plants they just make me so happy they're so beautiful uh, they just remind me of spring and early summer because peas are one of the earliest things and he's got horseradish this giant one uh, rhubarb that actually came from my house in Wisconsin and he's got potatoes Back there that he always starts. We'll go to the potato patch quick. And um, you know, we're Polish. He loves his um potatoes and they're flowering, so he's gonna have potatoes real soon. And he mixed in some peas even, trying to get him to grow up in the wood pile. And um, yeah, we just it's been really delightful. So I'm encouraging you wherever you are to find even a tiny little patch to start your own garden, even if it's just one little thing. I planted some flowers because he never does flowers, and we have strawberries here. I planted these last year when I was here, and now a couple are ripe. I already ate a couple yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, I mean, for a few bucks, I planted a couple strawberry plants, and then a year later, they're already having fruit. So you can really do a lot with a uh, small space. I mean, this is a simple, you know, four by two little, little patch right here. And you know, these, uh, these uh, viola flowers or um, pansies, these are really good edible and they, they're they purple. So you don't get a lot of things that are purple and that's wonderful. And then here's broccoli. Some of it already went um, to, it starts flowering and who knew broccoli could be this beautiful little flower and uh, you can totally eat the whole <laughs> flowers and everything. Mm. It is so sweet, 
So honestly, I miss the fruit like crazy in Thailand. But but eating real broccoli and eating their little flowers fresh from the plant that my dad grew, it's priceless. So I encourage you all to find out more about gardening. If you have questions, contact me, Laura Lee Lane. I love answering gardening questions and what to do with this and that plants. I worked in garden centers for years and farmers markets for years. Um, just I love I love growing things, and we're gonna have um, salad later. I'm out here gonna pick some lettuce for later. Uh, my uncle gave me spinach that I put in a smoothie this morning. So it's a real treat. So I love you all so much. And happy gardening to you all. And again, it's laurelylane.com. Come and find me. Ask me questions. Share your garden pics. Oh, that's um, crazy wild bamboo that overtakes the garden too. And um, share, share all you can about gardening and things you've learned. And uh, enjoy. And thanks for sharing with me. <laughs> Always all the best to you all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>